Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Sramalyala. This video is mainly for all those people who are thinking to or decided already to get to take drop year. So I'll be discussing about pros and cons about taking a drop year and all. And also I'll also clearing some misconceptions about placements who are taking drop year. I've also been a dropper for my JE preparation after my class 12. So I'll also add those experiences in this particular video. So don't miss the video till the end. Without taking much time, let's get into the video. So after class 12, uh, like usually people get uh, into tier 1, tier two and tier three colleges and they are like not satisfied few will be like not satisfied after getting into tier two they'll be thinking that i would have gone into tier one and tier three students who are few people will be there uh, I, I should not be here i should I, like i would have been into tier one and tier two if i work a bit more hard so that is where uh, um, one thing comes into the mind is called drop here so being a dropper myself so i wanted to give you uh, enlighten you on few important topics so that you will understand whether it's a wise decision of taking a drop here or not so we take all these factors into consider and consideration and uh, discuss pros and cons of dropping out so first i wanted to clear one important misconception which many of the students and many of the parents have that regarding the placements so will the drop year affects the placement I, I would say absolutely no so even I, I'm a dropper so there is no discussion of my drop year in my interview I got placed into so and so company so regarding that I'll make a separate video so don't worry so usually like being a placement coordinator at NIT Warangal what I observed is there are very 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 few like one or two companies still now out of almost 100 plus companies which visited NIT Warangal they mentioned that students should not have more than 24 months of drop in their I mean, uh, like break in their education so that means still second drop year they accept placements after second drop year so usually like there will be one or two companies which will uh, keep the students away so so will it is it a wise decision to take a drop year first drop year so that you will come to know by the end of this video if you ask me Baya, will you suggest me to take a second drop year i would say absolutely no so second drop year is something like not uh, it's not going to fetch you anything i would say but it will it is going to waste your one year of again time so first drop year i will not say it's waste because giving chance to yourself is like really important so what are the advantages of taking a drop year so first advantages will be like revisit your preparation mainly drop year is all about improvement because you are already into those topics for the last two years you have been preparing so like not good extent not to the good extent but at least something you have an idea so now here you are uh, like fighting for the improvement that's it for I mean, it comes to normal plus one plus two students they are visiting those to topics for the first time they have to start from the scratch level zero level but when it comes to you so whoever is going to take a drop here they have at least basic knowledge at least better than basic knowledge at least right so if you are preparing here here you are targeting for improvement that's it so that is that will help you a lot that will make you to stand but uh, stand out i mean stand out above many other people one thing is you will have your idea how much you have to prepare for how much rank for it because last time you prepared something you got so so and so rank and this time you'll understand okay that in, if i prepared for that level i got this rank so i should prepare I should prepare to the, this extent so that I can reach here. You will have an idea because because you are already went into it and came out. For example, in my case, when I am in class 11 and 12, I prepared like very less because I know what mistake I did. So that's what I would say. So you will learn from your mistakes. That was that is the best advantage of taking a drop here. Instead of compromising for a college of lower potential, students who are confident in their capabilities get a chance into get into top institutes, thus changing the the course of their future. And if you are sure and confident of your passion and capabilities one extra year of effort won't matter if it means getting into top institute so that's what i would say this is also an advantage of taking a drop year coming to disadvantages so what are the disadvantages so an extra year taking a drop year means studying for an extra year the same concept preparation there will be mindset same sometimes you will be going through this if you take a drop here and prepare yourself Are again i have to study all this again Are this so already studied leave it i don't want to study I'm, this is making me bore of things and all so that's how your uh, mind will be saying you while you are in drop here it also said to me but my own main target was to get into top tier one colleges that's it that was more that was dominating compared to what uh, these these things like these disadvantages. So that made me to be here at NIT Warangal. Performance pressure. So usually due to this unsatisfactory performance in the previous year, candidate tends to be under huge pressure. Of course, this pressure will be there. I have to prove myself. I have to score better than last year. These things will be there. But 
why you are doing it if you do that whether it's an advantage to your taking pressure like taking pressure to yourself will be an advantage or disadvantage of course it's a dis- disadvantage if you understand that you will not take pressure on it whatever happens it happens but i will use the time properly if you think like this and go ahead that will be an advantage to you no rather than a disadvantage so don't worry don't worry about what other people think about you what are they are going to say and all just talk to yourself what you did last time what you have wanted to do now what you wanted to show to other people many times i also took uh, i also went into huge pressure i also thought of like what other relatives will think of me what uh, they'll uh, talk about my parents what uh, what they what my friends think about me all this stuff but i didn't care because i wanted to get into nit iit triple it done that's it that was dominating compared to all this stuff so conclusions coming to conclusions so there is no shortcut to hard work guys this means that if you want success the only way is to work, work very hard in a smart way work hard in a smart way so this is because there is a lot of competition in each and everything you do without hard work it is rather impossible to achieve anything in life so let me explain what you mean by like some in mean, uh, doing hard work in a in a smart way so you have to divide the whole uh, topics into strong moderate and weak so you have to divide this so hard work is you have to at least revise yourself for the two times at least two huge like giving a good, good number of time to each and every topic two times you have to at least prepare yourself for all the topics and third time should be like random like normal revision general easy revision so you have to divide your topics all the three subjects uh, all the chapters into strong moderate weak areas and then you have to prepare this is hard work this is smart work so you have to do hard work with smart smartness so if you do that success will be yours and next thing is right direction for your hard work so what is the right direction what you have to do so you have to should not repeat the mistakes which you already done in class 11 and class 12 note down all the mistakes so note down the reasons for you to take drop year so when now you get low just see the reasons why you wanted to take drop year so if it is for yourself you have to work then only you will get the success that's it if it is like if it is something like you wanted to show yourself yourself to someone that this is me then it's not going to work guys study for yourself work for yourself then only you will see the results so while you are studying as i already said divide the topics into strong moderate and weak so you have to create your own time table if you are into coaching that's fine they will give you the time table it's done if you are not into coaching you have to make your own time table and work accordingly and writing mock test is very 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 important writing mock tests are like really important you have to assess through the mock test how much score you are getting where you are strong where you are weak where you are moderate where you are scoring where you are not scoring so if you write continuous regular mock test you will like you will be like understanding what exactly is going on in your preparation if you don't write mock test like you will not know anything mock test is going to be very key thing so whenever i talk about mock test people will be asking anna where should we write the mock test so i was just going through this uh, particular uh, prep combo thing which has been launched uh, by keres 360 it's a like very good previously also i have suggested keres 360 to many students and each and everyone gave the, gave me a positive feedback related to this so that is the reason again once again i am uh, talking about this particular product in my video so they are uh, offering a engineering prep combo for 2023 aspirants so in which like they will be giving unlimited mock tests for je mains bitsat vid triple e med srm je a triple e mst set apm set tsm set you can see almost each and every exam like which are majority exams uh, which south indians gives are here so these are under only one belt or uh, you have to pay almost like four triple nine but if you use my code uh, cheren 10 you will be getting 10 percent discount so the final price will be somewhere around four four nine nine so you can see cheren 10 chern 10 you can enter all your details and uh, use my code cheren 10 so the final price will be 4500 which is like you can accessible for the whole year unlimited mock test for all those exams so a very big, uh, great initiative by uh, keres 360 so if you want to buy this product you can use the link in the description and my code cheren 10 to avail the discount so previous year's questions is also like very important guys whoever is preparing for drop year so that will increase you boost you your preparation more i think if you already pre- solved the previous year questions last year then keres 360 engineering prep combo is going to help you a lot so you can write all the jm test series available on it and if if that completes you can write bitsat you can write med you can write srmje you can write a triple e 
the more questions you solve the more uh, like advantage it will be okay so there will there will be one more thing like negative attitude so there will like usually uh, can i can i do this is it possible for me uh, can i achieve there can i do this so these kind of things if you if, if they are running in your mind you will not be become a performer so negativity will result in nothing but f- uh, frustration and failure so next thing is burning desire to achieve the target if you have a burning desire to do something then all the energies in the world will help you in achieving the goal so set your target be passionate about it and uh, don't look back finally so take a drop only if you are motivated enough and especially if you are sure that the current performance was not your best if at least in a tiny part of your brain says that you didn't perform well then you can take a drop here and if at least tiny part of you says that so should we take a drop here I, even if i take a drop here i think my performance will not increase in that case don't take drop here even if your parents forces you i also suggest all the parents that don't force your child so because i have seen many of my friends like they have wasted the whole one year whole money which they which their parents have paid in the long term i mean the drop year for the coaching like they literally didn't study anything they are into again tier 2 tier 3 colleges only so like if they don't have the interest or if they don't have the confidence on themselves even if you force no the outcome will be the same like nothing will be uh, like so you can't expect much much from them so rather than wasting their one year you can just ask them to join in a college of their choice and ask them to prepare that's it taking a drop year is like really important and a very big decision and very huge step in your life in your career so do think twice before you do it so if you are taking it that's it you have to kill the exam that's it if you decided to take it you have to kill there is no other way if you take it and waste your one year of time then nothing can help you out so all the best guys i will want to take a drop here i hope you got a, some clear cut idea of what you have to do in your uh, drop here that's it for this video guys if you find this as a time worth video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind